Welcome back to Mr. Gard's Maths class. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at converting fractions, decimals, and percentages. Now, first of all, we need to know what percent or percentages are. Now, in black at the top of the screen, you can see that percent is actually made up of two parts, per and cent. Cent is another word for 100. So you might have heard of century in cricket or century in number of years is 100 years. A centurion is a Roman soldier in charge of 100 men. And cents, we have 100 cents in a dollar. So per cent means per 100 or out of 100. So if we look at the orange section first, Converting a percentage to a fraction. We have a couple of examples. We have 23%. Now, 23% means 23 per 100. So we can write that as, oops, as 23 out of 100, or 23 one hundredths. 100% would be 100 out of 100, or 1. The key here is to change the denominator, the bottom line, to be 100. If we had 158%, following the same principle, it's 158 out of 100. I might throw in one more example now. If we had, say, 19.2%, the same principle would apply, 19.2 out of 100, although you should know that we don't actually have decimals in a fraction. So what we can do is we can multiply the top and bottom both by 10 so that we get 192 out of 1000, both of which are the same number. We're now going to look at converting a fraction back to a percentage. So this is the opposite of the orange section. What we effectively did before was divide the percentage number by 100. In this case, we're doing the opposite. We've got to multiply it by 100. So 47 one hundredths as a, is a fraction. Now to turn that into a percentage, we need to multiply by 100. It's important to note that 100 divided by 1 is 100. So by making it 100 over 1, the multiplication of the fractions becomes easy. If we choose not to do any cancelling, we get 4,700 divided by 100 of which we cancel to get 47, or 47 over 1. And that's our percentage. So sometimes we write this as a percentage, so times 100%. A slightly trickier question is if you have 1 fifth. Now, it's not out of 100 like a, the previous question. We could make it out of 100 by multiplying the top and bottom by 20, but let's not. Let's just multiply it by 100. Same principle. We get 100 over 5, which equals 20%. So 1 fifth is 20%. Now we're going to look at converting a percentage to a decimal. What we need to do here is just simply divide the percentage number by 100. That's because if you think about it, 100% divided by 100 is 1. And so 100% is a whole. You know, if you get 100% in a maths test, that is every single question correct. So with 78%, what we're going to do is we're going to divide this number by 100. Now remembering our rules, we're going to effectively move the decimal place to the left 
two spots. So we're going to get 0 0.78. And that is our decimal value for 78%. If you like to work back from 100% being one whole, then you can see how 78% is a little less than one whole. Moving on to converting a decimal to a percentage. This is again the opposite to what we just did in green. Now instead of dividing, we're going to multiply by 100. So 0 0.56 multiplied by 100, move that decimal place this time to the right two places, remembering because there are two decimal ah uh, two zeros we now get 56% which is nearly half of 1 likewise if we have 2.08 we move that decimal place two spots and we get 208% Hopefully those quick examples made sense. It was pretty fast, so I suggest you go back through some of these questions and have a go at doing some of your own. There's a little bit, none of these are particularly hard, just that each one has a different process to get to the answer. So practice makes perfect when it comes to remembering what process to undertake for each conversion. So feel free to have another listen. It's a short video. Go back through the bits that you don't entirely understand. Thank you for listening.